watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 11. Studies have found that when children enjoy science, they're more interested in learning science, which is especially important for middle school students. This summer, young engineers will be doing just that at the Engineers Rule Summer Camp at Old Dominion University. Here to tell us about the camp is Patty Ball, Director of Student Support Services at Old Dominion University. Patty, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Tell us about Engineers Rule. First of all, what a cool name, but tell us a little bit more about it. Thank you very much. Um, this is our eighth year of hosting engineering summer camp at Old Dominion University. The camp is designed for middle school students. We really want to capture their attention at that critical age um, when they still are very open to ideas about, um, about um, what, what is available to them in the future. Um, so we're, uh, we're very happy to have them. And why an engineering camp for kids? Um, predictive studies have shown a strong link between enjoyment of science and the desire to learn more about science. So we know that when we capture them at this 11 through 13 year old age range, they're more likely to pursue science in high school. We know too now that um, they really need to be moving in that direction in order to get into some of the math and science programs and to really be competitive to get into engineering schools. And tell me a little bit more about, um, I'm, I'm imagining that it's sort of hands-on learning. So tell us a little bit about the activities that the kids are engaged in during the camp. You're exactly right. It is all about having fun and hands-on learning. So every day um, the students are engaged in uh, some form of activity and there's a broad range of things that we do um, related to the different disciplines within engineering. So um, we want them to have fun. If they're enjoying themselves then they're learning in um, a very passive way. They don't even know it. They're just having fun. They're just having fun and right. learning and soaking it in. And soaking in. Um, who teaches the camp? That's a great question. Um, we are fortunate to have some uh, two, at a minimum, two licensed and um, experienced educators with the students every day from start to finish. And um, they teach at the middle and high school level. Um, one of them actually has a PhD in electrical engineering and teaches at, the, um, at a gifted school in Hampton Roads. Um, and we also have uh, engineering students who help us along the way. And then we have faculty from the college who come in and conduct activities or do lectures. And finally, we have engineers from the community who come in and speak to our students or do activities with them. So we have a lot of hands-on um, with those students and we maintain a very low um, student-teacher ratio. So you may have civil engineers who are <laughs> giving information about civil engineering, all of the disciplines sort of represented. Can you yes. give us some examples of maybe the kinds of activities that a civil engineer might share with the kids? Oh, we've had some wonderful civil engineers come in. Um, we have had, and this is our eighth year, so you can imagine they've, they've spoken with, uh, with a lot of engineers by now, the kids that have been there. Um, we have had an engineer come in and bring slides of all of the projects that he's done throughout the world, one of which was particularly striking, which was a um, uh, landing strip for an airport right over the water. So um, that, that really captures their Sounds attention. Sounds like quite an engineering feat. <laughs> <laughs> we have had an engineer bring in his GIS equipment and speak about how many satellites um, there are all over the, uh, posted all over the globe, you know, above the globe, um, and how they bounce those signals back to those satellites in order to create plans um, on site. So cool stuff like that. Sounds like a lot of fun. I bet the kids have a lot of questions and are very engaged as they're learning. That's how you can tell that they're really learning when those hands go up. When the hands go up, they are asking a lot of questions and they are completely engaged. And many times uh, they, they challenge the person in front of them with the uh, amazing depth of their questions. What do you hope that students will take away from their experience at the camp? 
Well, ideally, we hope that students will come away with a love of science and the desire to learn more about not just engineering, but the STEM disciplines. Um, we hope that they have learned something while they've been with us. And um, we hope uh, also that um, they may desire to seek careers in the sciences by having uh, spent that time with us in engineering camp. And it's not to... Uh, there are all, always students in the camp who are first generation. That is that their parents have not gone to college. So for them, as well as for all of our students, being on a college campus takes away the fear factor not just of science and engineering, but also of being at a university. It begins to feel like home for them, and that is really important. And I'm sure having some of the ODU students who are involved um, gives them sort of a role model maybe to look up to while they're there. Absolutely, we, and we have always had engineering students involved in our camps, and you're exactly right, they're wonderful role models. Now that we are in our eighth year, we actually have students who have been in our engineering camp who are now studying engineering at ODU. That's so we've fantastic. come full circle. So it's working. <laughs> it's yes. definitely working. And um, tell me a little more about the specifics of the camp, the dates, how people can get uh, enrolled, where they go to find out more information. Um, the dates of the camp this year, and we always run the program twice each summer. Uh, the dates will be July 11th through 15th, and then again on August the 1st through the 5th. They are with us from 9 to 4 each day, and, um, and then they go home exhausted. Um, they can register online. We do have a link, and that's the easiest way to do that. If they have questions or they'd like to register over the phone, they can either call my office or they can send me an email and I'll call them or have someone call them and help them with that. And how many, what's the capacity for the camp? We will not go past 35 or 36 students per week. We, it's really important to us to keep that student teacher ratio low. So once we reach capacity, we will close a camp for that week. Well, Patty, thank you so much for being here. Engineers definitely rule. And it sounds like such a terrific program. Thanks for the work that you're doing, thank getting you. young people engaged in science. Thank you so much. When we return from painting to dance to comedy improv, Hampton Arts Summer Camps have something for every youngster to do this summer. We'll find out about their exciting programs when we come back with more Cox Connections.